Welcome all you sauce and gravy lovers out there. Johnny Mac here with the Sauce and Gravy Channel. Barbecue season is here, stoke up those grills. Let me show you how to make a peach barbecue sauce. Buckle up, let's go. Let's begin with the prep work, shall we? And there's really not much to it. You'll see that it's a fairly easy recipe. Grab one large yellow onion and dice half of it for this recipe. You can always substitute with a white onion if you don't have the yellow. Grab a lemon and your handy dandy zester and start to zest away. Completely zest the full lemon, trying not to get any of the white pith. If you get that, it's a tiny bit bitter and you don't want that. Break out that blade and chop chop. All right, so here we go. We've made it to the finish line of the prep work, the last step. Two 29 ounce cans of halved peaches. You could also use four of the 15 ounce cans if you like. Reserve one eighth of a cup or 32 milliliters of the juice. Just put it to the side and then strain out the rest of the peaches. And I know, I can already hear it, the ambulance is coming. Why is he not using fresh peaches? Oh my gosh, he's not using fresh peaches. The world is coming to an end. No, the world is not going to come to an end. You can use fresh peaches if you like. I like to use canned peaches. They're available year round and they're a whole lot easier to work with. Now that we've settled that, let's move on. Let's put this barbecue sauce together. To a high-sided saucepan over medium to high heat, add one tablespoon or 14 grams of butter, unsalted butter. Drop in that diced half of a medium yellow or white onion. Cook the onions until they start to get a little light brown around the edges. Hey, and if you want to caramelize those onions, go for it, why not? Whenever the onions are just about done, skillfully mince one clove of garlic. Cook the garlic for 30 seconds to a minute and then you'll grab, yep, those peaches. Crank your burner up to high and add the peach juice, that 1 8 of a cup or 32 milliliters. Cook these guys for about five to eight minutes until they start to break down. And it's a really good idea to use that spatula to break them up a bit and to stir frequently. So here we go, now you've made it to the final run of the cooking process. It's time to add the rest of the ingredients. We'll start off with half of a cup or 155 grams of this homemade ketchup. Check out the link in the description box for my recipe. Then add half of a cup or 125 grams of tomato sauce. Next, pour in 1 8 of a cup or 32 milliliters of red wine vinegar. Grab a lemon, juice it, pour it all in. Drop in 1 8 of a cup or 32 milliliters of unsulfured molasses. Make sure that you get all of it. And this is just as sticky as that molasses. Make sure you get all of it as well. 1 8 of a cup, 32 milliliters, honey. It's time to add 1 8 of a cup, 32 grams, dark brown sugar. Dijon mustard, one tablespoon. That's about 15 grams. And remember that lemon zest that you chopped up at the very beginning, dump it in. An eighth of a teaspoon of sweet paprika. And oh, we're not done quite just yet. This is a long list of ingredients. We're almost done, but not quite yet. Give it a stir though, and then we'll continue. Drizzle in one tablespoon of the world famous Wooster sauce. And you'll also want to add a little bit of a smoky flavor to this, so one tablespoon of hickory smoke liquid smoke. For a touch of heat, some Tabasco sauce or the hot sauce of your choice, you could add as much or as little of this as you like. And if you want to even make this even hotter, add some cayenne pepper as well. Spank on some fresh black pepper. Drop in a touch of salt. And that does it for the ingredients. Bring it to a simmer and gently reduce it on low for 20 to 30 minutes. Keep it uncovered and periodically check it just to make sure that the liquid level is good. You'll also want to occasionally stir it. And that is all that there is to it. Throw a few ingredients together, simmer them down for about 30 minutes, give it a taste and adjust the seasoning as necessary. Add some salt, a dash of pepper, and heck, why not? Add some cayenne pepper to kick it up a notch. So now you're ready for the last step, to smooth it out a bit. I'm gonna use an immersion blender. You could use a food processor. A regular blender can be used as well. 
And the great thing about making your own homemade barbecue sauce is you can make it as chunky or as smooth as you like. And that sauce and gravy nation is a wrap. The only thing else left to do is to dive in. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe on how to make a peach barbecue sauce. Be sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button to learn new sauce and gravy making tips and techniques. And if you're looking for additional BBQ sauce recipes, check out one of these two recipes and you know what? I'll see you next time.